guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a party wear haul for you. So if you are going out this Christmas season, then I have some pieces for you. I was going to do a massive ASOS and misguided haul, but I bought so much stuff that I thought was just gonna be an endlessly long video. So I'm gonna split it into two parts. This is gonna be part one and I'm gonna stick with misguided for this video. And then the next video will be ASOS, or I might do it the other way around, we'll see. So this will either be part two or part one of my party wear haul. So this is gonna give you some sparkly inspiration, some really standout pieces for the Christmas season. I am so obsessed with all the pieces that I've got. There's so many good ASOS pieces and there are so many good misguided pieces. So, I'm looking forward to showing you them. So let's get into it. Chew. Excuse me. The first piece is a real standout piece, a really fun piece I think my mum would really actually enjoy. This really feels like something I can imagine me wearing. And so I'm not necessarily keeping all this stuff because I don't have like 4,000 parties to go to. So I bought this stuff purely to show you guys what I would pick and give you some inspiration. And some of these things I'll be sending back, some I'll be keeping. So I'm sort of deciding what I'm keeping as I'm going. But this piece, I absolutely love. It's such a standout piece. It's like tinsel, what would you call this? You know in like parties and they have like strewn everywhere. Like it feels tinsely. This feels like Christmas. It's so sparkly. Um, it's like a little mini dress, silver, and I don't think Misguided ever sell, tell you the prices on them, so I'll link all the products down below, but this is a size eight, uh, and I'm obsessed with it. It's such a simple dress. It's just got like strappy details. You can make them longer and shorter, so that's a positive, because I hate these when these are too long. It's such a cool dress. You can literally shimmy around in that all day long with some sparkly silver shoes. I actually paired it with some boots, which is very unlike me, but I'm obsessed with these Lasula boots. These like heeled boots in like crocodile, shiny black print with lace up, but they actually zip up. So V convenient. I think it looks quite cool and edgy with this. Like it was quite a nice little combo and I am obsessed. I feel like this would be really good for a club. If your birthday's in December, this is definitely a birthday outfit. I don't know if anyone watches Strictly Come Dancing here, but I bought two items in this haul, which I feel like look like they would come from Strictly Come Dancing. And I really watch Strictly Come Dancing for the dresses. They are so sparkly, so shimmery, so floaty, so fringed. It's just amazing. So I picked up this piece, which is again, very similar fringing. I think it's very in at the moment, but this is just a more sparkly, softer to the touch piece. This is again in a size eight. I think I've got everything in a size eight. This is again, a little mini dress, um, which you could wear with black heels, uh, black boots, or some strappy gold sandals or silver strand. That's probably silver, it's got silver in it. Um, so yeah, some silver strappy sandals or some boots. I absolutely love this one. It's really flattering. It sort of hugs the figure. And then what's really cool, it has sort of like cut out sides and then laced up detail like little shoelaces down the side, which looks really cool and also slims you because it sort of takes away the, the sides of your body. And yeah, I just think it looks really flattering, really slimming and really shimmery, shaky and something that would be really fun to dance in. The next dress is a very different dress from the last two. It's very, very structured, which I'm loving. I got this in a size eight and it's got this sort of silver polka dot. So perfect for sort of the Christmas party season. It has a belt around it, which is very structured as well. So you'd sort of create a nice little knot. Then it has sort of a symmetrical strap sleeve sort of situations. One goes sort of off shoulder and one goes over the shoulder and they have sort of different thicknesses, which I think looks really cool. And I just love the structured shape of it. It makes you look like a little gift at Christmas. Um, so yeah, you could also wear this with over knee boots. I think this would look really nice with, if you had like, I mean, if you had silver over knee boots, that would look so cool. But if you have black heeled over knee boots, this would look cool because this is a really short dress. Um, or again, just heels. I actually just paired it with these because I think this looks kind of edgy. This would be nice for a Christmas party or going out or yeah, something a little bit more formal because it's a bit more structured. You could get away with it. So the next dress is back to the Strictly Come Dancing vibes. It is this sort of nude dress with white over the top. It has this really nice lacing and then fringing towards the bottom. So I feel like it might actually be a little bit wide at the top. I'm not hugely breasty, so there's a lot of kind of flat chest going on with here, like this sort of area, it's very open. But I feel like with some kind of sparkly costume jewelry, it could look cool. Like this is already over the top, so you may as well go like fully bling, fully shimmer fully fringed. Got this really nice nude underlayer, which is very like bodycon all the way down to the bottom. And then it has this kind of mesh, um, mesh lacy detailing over the top and the fringing towards the bottom. So it's a lot easier to wear than the other two Strictly Come Dancing vibes because they're kind of fringed all over and it gets stuck in a lot of things. Whereas this is just stuck to the bottom. So you can sort of do the fringing without feeling like you've gone over the top fringe. I really love that dress. I think it's really cool. I think I got that in a size eight. Yeah, I got that in a size eight again. And again, the straps kind of change so you can make them 
shorter or longer. This piece is one that I'm not sure about for myself, but I really like it as a dress. So for somebody else, this would probably be nice. So I wanted to keep it in. It is this sort of like blue satiny dress. And then at the bottom, it has this kind of lacy, I don't know what you would call that, kind of ribbony detailing on the bottom. The bottom is sort of bodycon, so it's nice and tight. It's a mini dress again, and the satin goes in two little straps like this. You can cross over the body. You can sort of do whatever you want with these straps. I have another dress like this, and sometimes I wear it like this, and then I just literally tie it up at the back and have like a really huge bow. But with this one, I sort of crossed over the body and bought it around and tied it at the front. You could also tie it at the back. That's what I love about these kind of dresses. They're really versatile, and the ribbon is literally so long, so you can pretty much do what you want with that ribbon. But the only problem for me is I just feel like it sort of gives you a lot of space for breast and as I say I don't have huge amounts of that but if you did this I think would be perfect so I don't want to go like a smaller size because the bottom half was really comfortable and looked nice on me but the top half didn't look so great so if or maybe if I'd have done like this and I'd made like a little choker taken the attention away I don't know maybe I should try that I think this is a really nice dress so perhaps for somebody a little bit more breasty this is the dress for you it's a really easy dress to wear it's kind of quite glamorous uh chic elegant dress so this is a nice one for like a ball a party maybe not a club I feel like these other sparkly ones were more clubby this is a bit more elegant sophisticated glamorous Christmas party that brings us to the end of my misguided party haul I hope you guys like this one this will either be part one of my party haul series and there will be an ASOS party haul coming up next or this will be part two and you will have seen the ASOS party haul. So I will be either linking that down below or get ready for the ASOS haul. I hope you guys like this video and do give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to keep up to date with what I'm doing over here on my YouTube channel.